Hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel uh, for more upcoming videos. Today I'm making a punch bowl cake. A delicious dessert for any, any event or any just if you feel like just having this delicious dessert for dinner. Uh, the ingredients are listed on the video, so let's get started. Okay, so we are going to do our jello, and we are going to be using only two cups of, of uh, milk and it, I know it calls for four but we're only going to do two because we want it nice and thick. Um, we're also going to be doing the other cup of uh, milk. We're going to add it to a container and we're going to be adding our condensed milk. Okay, so now we are going to get ready to make our own whipping cream. I like it nice, thick, and fluffy. And we are going to be adding two cups of heavy cream to our mixer. And then we're also going to be adding one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then you're also going to be needing um, confectioner's sugar or powdered sugar. Um, you're going to need three tablespoons of that. So let's get all these ingredients into our mixer and we're going to mix for about 10 minutes. Okay, so as you can see, we are ready uh, with our whipping cream. It's nice and fluffy. We're going to add it to our fridge so it can get nice and cold. And now we're going to cut our cake that has been cooled down before cutting and we're going to cut into squares and then we're going to get into the next step. Okay, so now it is time to get our uh, milk that we have with our condensed milk and our jello from the refrigerator. And we are going to go ahead and mix um, the jello and the milk mixture together. And this um, mixture is going to give your punch bowl that nice, sweet, not too crazy sweet, but that just good kick to our punch bowl.
Okay, so at this time we are done and we are going to use our leftover condensed milk to top off our punch bowl. And as you can see, it is ready and I am going to be adding my punch bowl into the refrigerator for about two hours until dinner time. So I am going to ask you if you like this recipe, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos. And thank you for watching until next time.